How you doing, Linnea? Hi, Kevin. Thank you so, so, so much for being here with us today on Film Feed. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. How's your morning? My morning is great because I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> you know, St. Louis loved you. You were just here on your tour. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And we had an amazing turnout. We sold out uh, at the, the arena. The show was ridiculous. I, I can't even put words you know, to it to explain how good I feel. I mean, that was my first time coming back to St. Louis for about two and a half years. And to get that type of return welcome was amazing. So shout out to you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you. We loved you here. We loved your show. It was <laughs> wonderful. Oh, thank you. So Kevin, today you're on Film Fiend talking to us about the five-year engagement, which mm -hmm. is set for wide release in theaters on April 27th. So tell us, about the film, set us up a little bit. Uh, well, you know, this is what I love about the movie. I love the fact that the, uh, the title kind of sets it up. You know, five year engagement deals with a couple who basically, uh, gets engaged early and makes plans and those plans kind of get lost in a wind because of, uh, you know, a, a, a couple going through a rough period. You know, the movie's about a man who kind of puts his life on a back burner for his woman, for her to pursue her goals and her career and he follows her. Uh, and in him following her, she kind of gets caught up in the life of where she went and, and, and she gets caught up in her career and she loses sight of her personal life. And to lose sight of her personal life, it kind of leaves a man in a place where his arms are up in the air and he doesn't know what to do. But in him not knowing what to do, it makes her realize her mistakes. And, uh, eventually she kind of comes full circle and says, you know what? I was wrong and I'm sorry it took so long for me to do what I've done and get to where I've gotten. But now I see what's important, which is what we had in the first place, which is love. So they get back on track with their plans. That sounds like a phenomenal story. And, you know, it's great that there's a film representing the role reversal where it's the exactly. woman's career and, um, you know, the her soon to be husband is waiting for her. Exactly. They wanted to, that's, that's, that's what they wanted to do. I mean, that's what was important, uh, I think in the development of this movie. You know, we didn't want to make a, a, a quote unquote chick flick. You know, we wanted to make something that, that was, uh, you know, man friendly that, that men would come out and watch. And I think seeing the role reversal, people would appreciate it because you've never seen this in the film. You've never seen a man chase a woman and, and, and allow a woman to pursue what, what, what her goals are and actually chase her dreams. If your wife were on the same meteoric rise that you are currently on, would you would you manage your your personal life in the same way that Tom has for Violet? Uh, well, I'm divorced, so it's different. Uh, <laughs> if, if if I had someone in my life that I was uh you know at that point with and and in love with. Uh, you know, to, to where basically I, I, I did nothing but eat, sleep and think about this person. Who's to say that I wouldn't, you know, love makes you do crazy things. So, you know, sometimes you may want to do that for your spouse, just so your spouse can see that you truly support them and back them. So Kevin, your character, Doug has a, uh, so he's a scientific researcher. Is that correct? And he has a, he has a pretty interesting, uh, take on things uh he's he's pretty sexually driven i i understand so tell us a little bit about your character doug and how you found inspiration in in developing him well doug doug is a uh a grad student he's studying psychology and uh and, and doing it you know basically their, their study is uh human behavior why they do what they do and how they do it um through the research that we've done I have a personal interest in, in my own research, which is uh, uh, adults pleasuring themselves to keep it PG-13 <laughs> for television. Um, but I want to know why they do it and how it's done. And I want to know if it's done correctly, what can it do? And I've, I, I have so much research and proof for what I've studied that I'm trying to get other people to see that this stuff is important. And if everybody gets on the same page as me, the world can possibly be a better place. Um, but my, my, uh, my understudies, the people that are with me, they don't look at it the same. You know, we're a group of misfits and all we do is banner and argue, but the comedy within our, our relationships is hilarious. Kevin, we have to wrap up with you today and we really appreciate you being here. Our final question on Film Fiend is this. If there is one movie you could watch over and over again, what would it be? What's your personal cult classic? My personal cult classic? Uh, I'm going to go with... I got to go with Love Jones, man. Yes. Love Jones was a good movie for me. 
Well, Kevin, we really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being here. And really quick for a Philly guy, Pats or Geno's? Oh, are you, did, are you really? I am not from Philly, but I want to know from you from Philly, Pats or Geno's? Oh, I got to go Pats. 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 Okay. All day. Pats. Well, we love you in St. Louis. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Have a great day. Take it easy.